have a snack, gonna have a snack, 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 snack time. Dude, I don't know. Cause you're a peach. <laughs> peach, I was not prepared for your existential crisis today, but I guess we'll go look at them and find out. <laughs> So apparently not a lot of research has been done as to why peaches have fuzzy skin. Apparently scientists are too busy doing other things, like cancer research or something. But the most widely accepted hypotheses are that a peach's slightly textured skin helps it fight off parasites and also keep it from losing water. Oh, magic. If you were to look at a peach's skin under a microscope, you would see thousands and thousands of hair-like structures that act almost like shards of fiberglass to a tiny, tiny insect. While the skin of a peach is a lot thinner and more vulnerable than the skin of, say, an apple, teeny tiny bugs have a really hard time penetrating the skin of a peach because of its fuzz. Scientists also think that the hair-like structures of a peach block the little pores in its skin to help it keep from losing water. This is also why if you've ever eaten a peach with the skin still intact, you might notice that your tongue is a little itchy. This is because those hair-like fibers are irritating the skin on your tongue. They're obviously too small to do any real damage to our tongue, but it still feels kind of funky. Also, super awesome fact, peaches and nectarines are the same species. The only difference between them is their skin. Genetic analysis has revealed that the smooth skin of a nectarine is actually the recessive allele of the same gene that produces the dominant fuzzy skin. Smooth skin is probably the recessive gene because it's not as effective as the fuzzy skin, which keeps all the bad stuff out. What? Um, Peach also wants to know, why is it that he's so seasonal? You can really only get good peaches during the summer. In fact, August is National Peach Month. Get excited. And this is because of something peach trees have evolved. They save up all their energy all year to produce their fruit all at once. So if we're continuing with this personification of peaches, peach trees really need animals to want their fruit. So by producing their crop all at once, the animals love it, have a great time, gorge themselves on peaches, and then via the digestive process, animals spread the seeds everywhere and little new peach trees get to grow. In my research about peaches, I came across a really awesome article about how and why fruit ripens. You should check that out right here because it's a really interesting read. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you go enjoy a lovely juicy peach because it's summertime. If you are unaware of our new developments, I have an announcement to make. Lunchbox Science has now moved to Scilog. Don't worry, everything will be exactly the same. We're just being hosted by Scilogs, which is an awesome science blogging platform, and you should go check out all of the other blogs. For those of you who are new and don't really know what's going on, check out my introductory post here. It'll tell you all about who I am and what we're doing here. Ask me more things about science. We love to learn. Don't we, Peach? Yes. That's all for now, and don't forget to pack your lunchbox.